I'll talk about, uh, you know, obviously today, last, uh, you know, just getting together for Philadelphia and getting prepared here and uh, getting the guys uh, ready. It, it's going to be, uh, it's not an easy place to play, let's put it that way. No, I think, um, you know, away from home um, in the past, Toronto have probably um, struggled and so it's something that we want to remedy and, and we want to we want to make it a challenge for us to, that we can hope to get as many points uh, away from home as possible and um, and we, we, we understand it's a, a very good Philadelphia team. They play some really good football. So, so it's going to be a nice challenge for us. It'll be good. Uh, and talk about uh, obviously just maybe is this how important is a start for you? You know, when we look at the last couple of games, uh, Toronto sees really battled a lot uh, towards the end, especially uh, against FC Dallas. But uh, how important is it to possibly try to put Philadelphia on the back foot off the top? Yeah, I mean, obviously, obviously, 90 minutes. We want to play 90 minutes. Mm -hmm. um, we've started well in games this season, and we haven't finished very well and then vice versa and we just we're just trying to put um put everything together um which, which would be really nice but it's um yeah it's easier said than done um and if it said if we go through those bad spells we've got to we've got to ride them out without kind of conceding and we're not riding them out at the moment which is um which is something that we're, we're, we're obviously been working on and we're obviously kind of talked about but um but yeah, if we can get a good start and set a good tone, then hopefully we can carry it on. Injury concerns. Uh, Richard's still out. Obviously, Terry's going to be out. Can you give us an update on on the health of the team heading into Philly? Yeah, Terry's out. Um, Emery's out as well. And um, uh, Rich, Rich is kind of um, touch and go. We, we kind of see with him. Um, yeah, he's a quick healer. So hopefully, um, hopefully, fingers crossed, he'll be right. Um, I don't know if you're ahead of schedule, but uh, John Hackworth said you're a difficult team to play against uh, this week. He referred to Toronto FC as a difficult team to play against. That was one of your goals. Yeah, I mean, uh, obviously we want to we wanted to be a, a tough team, a horrible team, and, and when we start from there, um, I, I would say we can be a lot more, a lot more difficult and a lot more horrible. To tell you the truth, I think we've still got a bit uh, a, a lot to get improve on. Um, but um, we're making we're making steps. We're making progress going forward. You know, I think you know, I think there's there's only probably uh, four teams that have scored more goals than us in the league. So um, we're clinical with our chances created. So um, we're, we're we're getting there. We we know we've got we've got a lot to prove on. But the guys have been absolutely fantastic. They've been they've worked really hard, and they're getting better all the time. And um, and we're going in the right direction. Ron made a, a difference when he came off the bench. A different kind of player, obviously. Um, Dallas was lost its big uh, centre back after the first half. But could you play? Would you consider playing two strikers up front? Uh, uh, could Ernst play off Braun? Are there a lot of options that you could have with him? Of course, yeah, no, of course. I'm I'm very lucky to have um, to have um, you know options now with strikers. You know, previously we hadn't been able to bring Justin on just just for the fact that he had um, concussions and he hadn't been training and he wasn't allowed to train. So so now we're kind of you know, introducing Justin, and um, he made a really good impact um, off the bench, as everybody obviously saw against Dallas. Um, so it's a so it's a great option to have now with um, with him now fighting for a, a starting spot. We've seen Hogan now on the left end, kind of in that that space between the midfield and Earnshaw. Where do you like him best? Yeah, yeah, good good question. Tell the truth, just trying to finding the the right kind of um, spot where he can utilize his strengths. Um, so. You know, I think um, potentially it could be out wide, um, but also it's, it's, it's who you play against as well, and and, um, and how how we're playing. And so the great thing about it is John um, Hogan and Reggie can all play those kind of three positions. They can all kind of move around and rotate. So it's, at least it's good to have that versatility. Is there a de definitive prognosis on Dunfield yet? Yeah, I think he's going to be um, he's going to be out for for definitely the f for a few weeks. Yeah. Um, minimum few weeks. Um, we're, we're just going to see how his how his leg reacts, um, but it will be a minimum of uh, of three or four weeks. Does that give uh, Luis an opportunity because he has made a difference as well when he's come off the bench? Uh, obviously, coming up back out of uh, you know uh, injuries and but 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 playing hard and uh, you know he did have an impact as well both games. Both games he was um, he was really good when he came on. It was obvious obvious to see. Brave on the ball, he wanted the ball, and that was, um, yeah, it was re really impressive, Louis, obviously. But also, John Azuro has done extremely well as well. So, um, there's, there's um, a couple of guys, you know, that, and this is what happens in, in sport, you know, um, get injuries, sicknesses, illnesses, something, and, and, and when an opportunity um, arises, you've got to take it. And, um, and to be fair, our guys have, the guys who have come on have really taken their opportunity, which is, which is really pleasing. 
Danny Califf played against, uh, played, he was a Philadelphia captain and stuff. Do you look at things like that when you're doing your team selection, knowing that a player is going to want to perform against an old team? You, you, you look at what's going to try and get you a win, and, um, and, and, and then all the things, you know, that, all the variables that, that, uh, that are surround that to try and get you three points. And if you think that would help to get you three points, then of course, yeah. He seemed to look healthier today than he did Tuesday. Have you noticed a difference in his, his health? Yeah, I mean, I, he got knocked for, knocked for six for, when that, with that sickness and that. Um, and so he's, he's looking better. But, um, but you know, as, as I said, like, we've got, you know, Donnell Henry's been really good. Gale, obviously, you know, different, did great in the game. And so we've got really healthy competition. And, um, and as I said, it's, um, it's what I think will get three points. And, and that's as simple as that, really. Without giving us your, your, your scouting report, what can, what can you say about Philadelphia? You, you met them in the preseason. Um, they call uh, you guys a hard team. What, what, what do you call them? Well, I think they're a team that if you if you if you if you give them time and space, they'll they can they have the ability to play and play some very nice football, some very nice attacking football, and they possess the ball very well. And they've got a couple of very strong um, centre backs, um, a striker who runs off a shoulder very well. Uh, really impressed with with. with of the striker, he, he, he makes some good runs. We've got Connor Casey, you know, who's strong. So they've got a really nice balance, you know, all around the all around the team. Um, so as I said, it's going to be a very difficult game. I think um, uh, the, the the coach there is, is kind of finally pu kind of putting his DNA on on the team now. It's, it's really his team now. He's kind of getting together, and um, you know, as I said, they're they're a very competitive team.